hide from his hair loss. Yeah, he I seems like was... a real douche online, but like I spent like two or three days with that guy, and mm -hmm. he was just really genuine and nice. You were hanging nice out with guy. him? Yeah, where'd you guys kick it out? Uh, in LA, I, we, he was doing this awful movie, and my network asked me to be in the movie. <laughs> So this is a real story you're telling me right now. Yeah, yeah. this is true. The movie yeah. was called. I know this Airplane? is a joke. Okay. Does it sound? No. Right? What was What's the, that? The movie was it called Airplane? Airplane mode. mode. Yeah. Airplane mode. Okay. Yeah. Thankfully, my scenes were cut. I'm so glad they were cut. I really am. It was. Were they very bad scenes? Oh, oh it was awful. Did you I, look I'm like an idiot? Uh, not like an idiot all the time, but some of the time, like, like Vitaly kissed me at one point, like, like not like a like making out or anything, but like Vitaly. he he like murdered me and then kissed me on the I think. Did he kiss me on the mouth or the cheek? I don't remember. Vitaly. Vitaly Z, the uh the, the Russian um guy on YouTube that used to do Frank Channel. Okay. Now the poster boy of HGH. Um, more recently, he was arrested, I think, in Florida for maybe attacking a woman. I'm not sure of the details of that, but I just remember seeing his like mugshot and being like, ah, he looks crazy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh but 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 you know, I, I long story short, like like all of my experiences with him really kind and like like hey are they looking out for you with this and that are they taking care of this and that this is gonna be really fun and i i had a couple of scenes with him and where i'm i'm supposed to be bullying him like i'm choking him and, and like, like at knife point and stuff and he's he's like really come at me really choke me hard and i'm like my hand doesn't even begin to fit around your neck dude are you insane <laughs> like, like like i've got pretty big hands it's 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 like it would take like eight of my hands to reach around this man's colossal fucking neck he's so thick and and like muscular and he, he's just like cowering as I'm holding up. And I'm thinking like, he could murder me right now if he wanted to. <laughs> this would be a real knife. It wouldn't matter. My <laughs> Twitch chat was saying that I could beat up Logan Paul. And it's like, I am clearly uh, at my home field right now. Because Logan Paul would kick my ass. That, not only is that guy trained, like he can, he's an actual fighter. But mm -hmm. he's way Who did he just get knocked out by? He just sparred with which UFC middleweight's oh. a legit one, and he got flatline KO'd, which made me respect him a Kyle, lot. Kyle, help me with this name. He's the very strong guy that Israel Adesanya is about to fight next. Handsome Costa? guy. Handsome Costa. Brazilian guy. Costa? What's yeah. his first name? Um, Paulo? Paulo. Paulo Costa. Uh, and I think he kind of hammed up the knockout a little bit. You know? Uh, didn't like, look like much ham to me. I don't know. Uh, it did to me. But I could be off, you know. What do I know? Yeah, Woody could beat up most human beings. Um, <laughs> that, that if, if he's going to get in a fight, like at, at at fucking at the movie theater, right? Like like the average movie goer cannot take. I agree. Half of Woody's women. gamer tag. <laughs> Half of them are women, and right there, I like right off the odds. bat. Yeah, right off 90, the bat. Eighty-nine percent of those women, he'd flatline. <laughs> <laughs> what belt are you, Woody? I'm not saying, but no, I, I trained for years. I didn't go for belts, but uh, I did no gi for a while. Um, but okay. I'm not special. I was never special. Um, I trained with people who were special sometimes and saw the difference. But As uh, retarded kids, I trained <laughs> in the day too. Actually, I don't know well, if we've talked oh, about that's this. Right. Are you a purple yeah, belt? I'm a purple belt. That's legit. No, I trained for three years and then I took off with it and healed up my ACL and such. And then I came back and trained for one more, something like that. Is purple bef right before black? No, there's brown, brown between is, the two. Purple is the no. third. So white, blue, purple, brown, black. Brazilian oh, that's, not, that's not an order of coolness. Brown should be the lowest. That's the lamest of those it's colors. The closest to black. And the purple is the Says highest. who? Just to show that the entire journey is... A, what happened to gray? Yeah. yeah. Did you stop trading, Danny? I did just out of time constraints because YouTube is such a full-time operation. Purple belt is a legit thing. I don't know if people understand what a big deal that is, but... I... Let's try to quantify how much straight BJJ training it takes for you to beat 95% of the people on Earth. I think once you've hit a year and a half, you're there, which is a blue belt. You're a low-level blue belt, and if you're on a soccer field and the guy doesn't have a knife, 95% of the time you can take him out if you've been training for a year and a half. I would argue that a year and a half of training is worth about 30 pounds, maybe 40 pounds, right? So if, if you've trained for a year and a half, you're about even with a guy 30, 40 pounds bigger than you. If you train for three years, you're even with a guy who's maybe 60 pounds bigger than you. Mm -hmm. How does that work for you? Wow. I think 
if you're really good blue belt or purple belt level and you're on a favorable terrain, yeah. a.k.a. not a shady bar room with a bunch of sharp edges and a, a guy with all of his cronies in the bathroom. The of a out. bus. That was always the one I worried about. Yeah. Like, all these skills routine. I'm developing are worthless in the, <laughs> on a bus aisle. You guys keep training Kyle and I just have pots. Yeah. We've got our <laughs> homies. <laughs> anyway, yeah, sorry I, I interrupted. I uh, no, I, it's it's good. The bus aisle is a bad place to fight for a jiu-jitsu guy. I did something which is very ill-advised for a jiu-jitsu fighter before. I've actually pulled guard in a street fight in a parking lot, which Ooh. should be the ultimate no-no, right. a guarantee to get your ass kicked or knocked out, and it worked. And the Ooh. guy was a former some position on the school football team, and I was able to sweep him from guard and then just beat him Wait, up. Wait, why, why would why would that be a bad thing in a parking lot? So pulling guard is kind of being the bottom in a missionary position at sex. And mm -hmm. uh, your head, like, if you, well, not you so much, but you could grab my hair and hit it on the, <laughs> on, yeah. the uh, on the asphalt, perhaps. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. or, you know, if you just introduce, so in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, if you're in my guard, we're about even. I might even have a slight advantage. But you mm -hmm. add punching to the mix, Probably mm -hmm. you have the advantage, even though you're mm -hmm. in my guard. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way sense. to think about it is if, if you're in my guard, you're between my legs. I have both my hands and both my legs ready to attack with. But Woody makes a good point. When you have gravity and punches, we're a little more even. But yeah, adding the asphalt to the equation, if this guy stands up and slams me, if he throws a punch and there's no give because my head is going from knuckles oh, yeah. to concrete, it gets dicey. Not even to mention if he has a buddy who's uh, trying to negotiate with a hooker around the corner, hears a commotion, and then runs over towards you and kicks you in the back of the head when you're not looking. It, it's not Kills a great you. tactical yeah. move. Yeah. But I had a spotter. I had a buddy who was watching over his fight to keep it one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And one-on-one, uh, -on -one, I mean, Hoist Gracie proved it, man. There isn't a superior martial art. See, I like, I, I like the idea of learning how to box or do jujitsu more than the practice of it. Like the thought in my head of like, yeah, I, I can go do a boxing class and like get some good cardio and learn how to, you know, do that better. I can go to a jujitsu and get probably even better cardio and do that. But then I'll think about it and be like, man, I really don't want to get beat up. Jujitsu is fun. No fun. In jujitsu, you don't get punched. Jujitsu is, it becomes like playing a strategy video game. Because it's so unique, the style you develop. Are you a guard player? Are you a top player? Are you a choke guy, an armbar guy? And once you get past the bad six-month period where everybody just fucks you up every day, it becomes really addictive. Dude, I joined my... Yeah, I, when it's I a started lot of time training, to put in to get fucked up. <laughs> it's true. Let me go. When I started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, I joined, right? And I'm going there. And of course, everyone's kicking my ass. They're all experienced and stuff. Nobody joined after me. For like nine months. It just oh, that sucks. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the new guy for way longer oh, than you should have been. It was terrible. It was terrible. And I started to get to be where I could competitive, get competitive with people who've been longer, but they're smaller than me. And, uh, and then eventually I remember the first guy I ever tapped out. He was big. He was like 40 pounds bigger than me. Not strong, but like a little bit fat and a little bit strong. Mm -hmm. And I triangled him, and it was like, <laughs> the first guy I ever beat. Mm -hmm. It was great. After a while, um, my favorite thing, to, don't let me talk like I'm some sort of badass, but people would come in untrained, but perfect specimen, right? Big yep. chest, bulky shoulders, et cetera. And uh, it's like, if they don't have any offense, it's just a matter of time before they give yep. me something to go for. This, mm -hmm. th I think rounds were five minutes or seven minutes or something. Mm -hmm. And over that time, I just I'd get them twice. They get me zero because they have no offense. You know, thankfully there's no mm -hmm. punching. Everyone would figure that out. But you take away the punching, and uh, I really enjoyed the perfect specimens. Yeah, I don't want to get punched. And that's a great thing about jujitsu is no other martial art can you spar full bore without taking punches to the head. So right. you can hop in the boxing ring, but after three, four years in the game, you might see some CTE later down the road. Yeah, Jiu-Jitsu, your you're going against fully resisting opponents without getting your teeth knocked in, without getting your nose broken. It, so you get a ton of reps against resisting guys. And that removes mm. a lot of bullshit, right? Like if you go to Kung Fu, yeah. for example, yeah. there's all sorts of like... If the guy puts his hand on your chest in a flat thing like that, you grab his two fingers Absolutely. and you pull them apart. That will never happen in a fight. Never does anyone yep. present their fingers for you to muscle each of them and pull them apart. And, and isn't Kung Fu striking? 
like kicking and punching or no? It is kicking and punching, but there's a lot of super silliness. And I actually took Kung Fu before Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and it's all like, no one ever resists, you know, you just Mm -hmm. sort of, and and all the punches and blocks are in slow motion and it's just not Mm -hmm. full effort. So you don't develop Mm -hmm. any actual skills. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you can go full effort without injury. So things that are bullshit, mystic martial arts get 